Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with the second half of that Chronicles break. The brand new 2020, 2021 Panini Chronicles basketball. Pick your team number two, all card ship. Big thanks to this group for getting in on the action. So thanks for spending a bit of your Thanksgiving Eve with us. We got TJ here with OKC. I think he's watching live. Kyle's watching live. Michael's watching live. All right, so thanks everybody for being a part of this break. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Remember, we marked all those boxes um, too, so we know that they're from the same case. I don't know what kind of top loaders I need here. I guess I'll just kind of wing it. We'll do it live. Right. Good luck. Thank you. Now, after this break is done, we will have a little time to do another break. Another quick break or two if you want. We've got time to do another Chronicles basketball break if you want to. So if you're into that, Definitely, uh, definitely get your spots. I think there's, I think pick your team three. Those teams are still 20% off. I don't know when that discount is going away. So at the very least, even if we don't get to the break tonight, I would at least lock that 20% price in before it's gone. That would be a, a sharp play, a sharp move for the sharp collector. All right, let's go. There's LeBron James. To 99. And then Anthony Edwards, 111 out of 149. So that's a start for Michael May and the Timberwolves. I like that Essentials design right here, too. He's pretty good. There's an Obi Toppin, Luminance to 149. For the Knicks, that's going to be for David B. Second year Zion, Luca, John Morant, and 37 out of 75, Anthony Edwards. And that's in the limited design here. A little wrinkly in the penny sleeve, but secure. There you go, Michael. Michael won that spot in the uh, filler. Now, I think that these prism cards, at least in previous years, they almost acted as sort of a update. So we'll save that. And a nice Tyrese Maxey. Rookie autograph for the Sixers, Josh Proust. And David saying Edwards had a huge game tonight. I think Tyrese Maxey also had a, a losing effort to the Warriors. I think he had a pretty good night tonight, too. There's a big slate of games today. Uh, let's go to the box score. Yeah, Golden State ended up pulling away in the fourth quarter. Man, the Sixers only managed 12 points in the fourth. But Tyrese Maxey, 19 points. A few rebounds, five assists. Getting a lot of minutes. How did Edwards do tonight, David? There's a Nico Mannion, 6 out of 10. That's for the Warriors. That'll be for Sean M. And Bruno Fernando, autograph, 8 out of 99. For the ATL, that is for Josh Smith, who won that spot in a filler. Oh, that Tyler Hero is numbered 48 out of 49 for the Heat. There's 
Patrick Williams, 78 out of 99. Wow. And, and David saying Anthony Edwards had 33 points, 14 boards. Yeah, he's pretty good. All right. First box in the books, box two. T Wolves win tonight? I feel like the, the Timberwolves, yeah, they did. They beat the Heat 113 101 to improve to 9 and 9. I, I, I feel like they've got such a, I feel like they've got a great team on paper. Were there two autos? No, actually, we got shorted an auto out of there. Or no, there was. Bruno Fernando, Tyrese Maxey. Um, sorry. I was looking at the box scores here, but I feel like I feel like Minnesota should be uh, should be pretty good. I feel like they they look really good on paper. I feel like uh, maybe a one or two players away, or a couple depth players away, or some some good coaching away from. from making some noise in the regular season and beyond. There's Onyeka Kongwu to 49 for the Hawks. And there's Chris Paul. Son's playing some great basketball. That'll be for Steve Birch in Phoenix. Well, Kongwu going to Josh. An all card ship. There's so many different fun looking parallels and whatnot. There's 50 out of 149, Nico Mannion. Warriors, Sean M. We get all those James Weissmans too. Out of 249, Patrick Williams for the Bulls. Chicago, that'll be for EA. I like the, this honors design right here that they have going on. Yeah, they are playing good basketball. Joe P. This early stage of the season. It's hard to deny that. Nathan Knight, 17 out of 99. You're acting like, though, the season's over, though. You're acting like the season is over and that we should just go straight to the playoffs. That's where I'm disagreeing with you, Joe P. Still early in the season. 16 out of 149. Rudy Gobert, Utah Jazz. In the closet, Sun supporter. Pfft. Please. You wish. You're, you're really on that bandwagon, Joe, aren't you? <laughs> Joe P. really on that bandwagon. He's, he's on the bandwagon. And, and he's got the bullhorn. He's got the pom-poms and everything. Rah, rah. We're like, what? Like less than 20 games into the season. And he's just like, end the season. Forget it. The season's over. Suns. Never going to lose a game. There's John Morant, 44 out of 49. Beat the Cavs tonight. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Quad Relic and Auto Tyrese Halliburton, 32 out of 99. That's nice. Who's got the Kings? Nick with the Kings. You have to, however, ban. I mean, you weren't a supporter. Is that what that means? I don't know. You weren't really talking up your sons like three or four years ago. Really quiet about the Suns. I mean, you wouldn't even check in to complain about the Suns. I don't think the Suns even came out of your mouth, Jopi, until recently. 
Rex wants to know, how do you think the Bears game will go tomorrow with the rumors of Nagy being fired afterwards? you think Nagy blows it or do the Bears crush it? <laughs> well, nothing, uh, nothing that the Bears have done this season would seem to suggest to me that they will somehow that they'll somehow look amazing just because of these rumors. It's not like the 53 men on that roster are like, oh my God, coach is going to get fired. The coach has led us to whatever record they're at now. We better, play, we better start playing hard now. No, it's, I, don't think, I don't think it's going to work like that. There's Alexei Pokusevsky to 149. That'll be for TJ and OKC. And we've got Mamadi Dia, Diakite. 145 out of 199 for the Milwaukee Bucks. That'll be for David B. The only thing the Bears have going for them, Rex, is that, uh, is that they're playing the Lions tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. There's Patrick Williams, red to 149. So, I mean, they may just win anyway, but maybe in spite of. It's Jay Sean Tate to 149. Maybe in spite of Matt Nagy instead of because of. There's a Xavier Tillman, 101 out of 249. Tyrese Halliburton as well. And a National Pride Prism Autograph, uh, Facundo Campazzo, who of course is from, from Angola to the United Kingdom. Wait, from Angola. To... Wait, from Angola to the United Kingdom, there were a total of 41 countries representing the NBA on opening night rosters in 2020, 2021. The second country on that list, alphabetically speaking, was Argentina, which is where he's from. 70 out of 99. That is for Denver. Oh, I guess you can kind of see the Argentina flag in the background. And that is for Rick Thomas. Who won that team in the filler? Um, there is a Jay Sean Tate, three out of forty-nine for Houston. That'll be for David B. Rookies and stars: Obi Toppin, Steph Curry, Refractor. And there's our first Lamello and an Anthony Edwards behind him. Lamello in that Phoenix design. I really like that Phoenix design. That's going to be for Charlotte, Josh Smith with the Hornets. And the Marquee, Panini Marquee, Anthony Edwards. And another Lamello ball. So here's another Anthony Edwards for Michael. And there's a blue XR Lamello ball, 43 out of 99. From XR, blue parallel, and Josh with the Hornets, he won that team. All these add up, of course, especially the parallels. All right, halfway through this half case break. Got about another 10, 15 minutes to go in this. Right, I agree, Joe P. That's a good way to put it. Players can win you games, yeah, but coaches can definitely lose you a game. Players win games, coaches lose games. Yeah, I mean, the NFL is such a unique sport because... Um, 
such a unique sport because uh, there's so many moving parts on there. The Cavs have a point zero two six higher win percentage than the than the Lakers. I mean, okay, Lakers only five games behind the Suns. <laughs> it's not like the Suns have taken this like twenty game lead ahead of ahead of the Lakers. Relax, Joe P. Take a deep breath. You're gonna you're gonna peak too soon this season. Gonna be burned out on basketball by like the end of December. There's Nasir Little. Thirty three out of ninety nine. And another Anthony Edwards, essential. You should be scared, Joe P. I'm surprised you're not scared. Lakers are 10 and 10. They have 10 wins with, with a team that hasn't put their full strength squad out on the floor. You should be terrified. Imagine once that full strength squad is there. Here's another Anthony Edwards. You should be terrified. Bad, disorganized Lakers team still managed to stumble into 10 wins. Doesn't that scare you? Imagine, imagine if they have a full strength and they click. What do you, what, what do you think their record would be? 10 games? I mean, you're act, you're acting like you're acting like the Lakers are like a five win team or something like that. You better be quaking in your little sun sneakers. When they're full strength and it starts to click, you should be nervous. Everyone in the West, nervous. You know, I like that the suns are peaking too soon. You know, burn, burn this guy out. There's Giannis. 99. Ooh, and a redemption. Any guesses on this redemption for bragging rights? Desmond Bain. And we've got, out of 149, a Kenyon Martin Jr. for David and the Rockets. And there's Prism James Harden, Brooklyn Nets edition, going to Mark. And there's a Devin Booker, 36 out of 49. That is for Phoenix, Steve Birch with that one. Brody's guessing Killian Hayes, Barkley for Rex, LaMelo maybe, Malachi Flynn. It is a different Detroit Piston, Brody. This is Sadiq Bay. And that is for Calvin and Detroit. That is a gold standard rookie jersey autograph. And a uh, and a free top loader. All right, two boxes to go. Rex saw a picture of Zion recently. Looks like he ate Shaq, yeah. Apparently uh, some conditioning is in order for, for Zion. But I mean, how old is he? He's like, he's like 22, right? 20, 22 years old. I mean, he'll he'll lose he'll use, he'll lose that weight like that. All right. 
There's Cole Anthony. It's 249. He's playing some good hoop. Orlando. David B. There you go. Calvin's happy. Sadiq Bay. Nice. Yeah, Pistons are building a nice, uh, building a good core. And we've got a Sam Merrill, our second autograph of the box for the Bucks. David B. 92 out of 99. And a uh, LeBron to 149. And a Jay Sean Tate for Houston. There's a Prism Red Chris Paul. 118 out of 149. Joe, is this one of his? He has Chris Paul doesn't have a prism card with him in his son's uh, uniform, right? Because I feel like these prism cards in Chronicles, at least in previous years, are kind of like update cards. I feel like the prism card for him last year, or for this earlier this year, out of the hobby, was still in like his OK gear, OKC gear, that is. But it said Suns, but his uniform was still pictured as OKC. Oh, maybe he does? Okay, so maybe those aren't as updatey as I once thought they were. Suns at Nets. Well, Suns, well, they're doing, Suns Knicks are playing first. And then they, oh, that's a tough, they got, that's a tough back-to-back. -to -back. I mean, they're going to be in New York. The entire time, but Knicks and then Nets. Patrick Williams to 149. I'm honestly, I would probably, I mean, from a betting perspective, the lines aren't out yet, but from a betting perspective, the Suns have been winning so much. I feel like they'll probably be like overvalued, meaning people are, are, are being too aggressive and making them the favorite, the favorite, like. Vegas probably making them a heavier favorite than they maybe should be. So there may be some value on the Nets. That's, that, that, I feel like that's probably going to be a pretty even game. I bet it'll be like Nets minus, net, Nets? Nets minus two. Another Anthony Edwards for Michael. Aha, uh -huh. okay, yeah. Andrew's saying Chronicles Prisms usually are updates with new team jerseys. There you go, yeah. So 2021 Prism Chris Paul. It's a Suns card, but he's still wearing his OKC jersey. So this, Chronicles, and that's the that's the nice, unique thing about Chronicles is that they will add those update cards. So that might be a little extra boost in value, Steve Birch. Here's Aaron Naismith, jersey and auto, limited jersey and auto for the Celtics, Zach. So that Chris Paul might have a little uh, boost in value. That's his first time, at least for Prism, where he's in his son's gear. And that's the son's finals year, Chris Paul, in his son's gear. All right, so there's a lot going on here. Here's Devin Booker to 49. Oh, Prism actually is still OKC. So they haven't changed the team yet for Chris Paul. All right, so there you go. So that's the first Prism basketball, Chris Paul. Here's another Anthony Edwards. For Michael May, here's another Anthony Edwards. And here's Jeremy Grant, Pistons Silver. Yeah, Andrew is also saying earlier, last year Kyrie and Anthony Davis were Prism updates. I feel like there is one one of the years when, whenever Kawhi went to went to the Clippers, I think there was an update card there too. And I think those did have more value than usual. You know, as far as like veteran cards go, you know, but they had more value than usual because of their updated team. Okay, so Prism doesn't say Suns. It's an OKC card. An Optic Select 
Optic and Select has him in Sun's gear. So people love Prism. So that's Chris Paul as a Sun in Prism gear. In, pri in Sun's gear. In Prism. With Sun's gear. It's late. So I don't know how much extra value, but I'm sure there are Suns collectors that would be interested in the in a card like that. All right, final box. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. There's LeBron to 49. That limited design, which is on a bit of a heavier card stock too, which I think is cool. There he is again, Honors Edition. And our second to last auto of the break, Moses Brown. From Phoenix, that goes to TJ. I think it's TJ's birthday too. Happy birthday, TJ. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy birthday. Got an autograph going your way. 31 out of 99. Nice. Now, now we're rooting for him. Hopefully he turns into an all-star in the next couple of years. Katie, Sadiq Bay, 28 out of 99 in that Phoenix design. Mixing up my numbered cards and other cards. All card ship, ladies and gentlemen, so don't worry. Everything you see, you'll get. Love these gold standard cards. These are, I feel like these are more short printed. Because I think this is the only one I've seen, actually, in this case. Kira Lewis Jr., 21 out of 99. I don't know how common these are. Pelicans, that's going to go to Nick. We got Kyrie to 249. And Jordan and Wara is our last autograph. Jersey and auto, 55 out of 99. Milwaukee Bucks, David B. So this is the plates and patches design, Kyrie Irving for Brooklyn. Mark with the Nets. Jay Sean Tate to 99. Westbrook Wizards. So we'll eventually see Westbrook Lakers. Isaac Okoro. Devin Vassell. Toppin. So on and so forth. Anthony Edwards, hometown heroes card. Zion and Zion to 149. Second year Zion. Nice, not bad. T take advantage of the 20% off. Got the Jordan and Wara jersey and auto. I think he's doing okay. Here's Anthony Edwards, hometown heroes. And Michael won that team and got a bunch of Anthony Edwards out of here. All of those add up, and some of them will, will add up even more if they grade out nicely. So here's a quick little recap. Anthony Edwards, Lamellos, and Autos. Sadiq Bay. Lamello Ball, XR. Phoenix. Nice Tyrese Halliburton quad relic and autograph. And Tyrese Maxey back here, Edwards and Edwards. There you go, boys and girls. Another nice break in the book. I love this Chronicles. It's like a, like a fun sampler platter. You get to see a lot of different designs and uh, not, a, not a boring break at all. A lot of eye candy here. Um, that was Picker Team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next Picker Team. Bye-bye.